Hello, comrades. Come here, bro, here today with, what is it, the sixth episode of our Russian playthrough on making history, the uh, Great War. Now, I was going to continue, uh, basically, I went about 20 heads into the future, and then uh, Italy declared war on Greece, who then in turn declared war on Italy, uh, and thus dragging in a multitude of countries uh, into war against Italy. So the Austro-Hungarian Empire thus declared war on Serbia, which has thus brought Germany into the war. So it seems World War I has started a little bit earlier than you would normally expect it to. Uh, it definitely earlier than I expected it to. And uh, I'm <laughs> I don't know if I should get involved. Russia, as it stands, has the most powerful army in the entire world. Uh, as we can thus see right here on our little ratings, we have the most powerful military, the most powerful industry, second best research, and we're 19th in influence. So we're a little low in influence, but really that's no big deal to me um, as far as I care. And we don't really, we don't really like Germany and all them, all those peeps over there. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna have a trade access treaty with them anyway. Why not? Why not? Austro-Hungary really doesn't like us, though. You see that minus 30 there? Mm. It's beautiful. So, we're not allied with Serbia. We chose not to do that. Uh, we are on very good uh, terms with them, however. So, I'm going to give them military access and include... Well, dude, plus 98%, and they're not even going to give me access to their, to, their, to their lands. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, if I do say so myself. Oh wow, Romania really doesn't like me. Negative 52%. Uh, 4% of Bulgaria will get a trade access agreement. Alright, alright. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. That's for sure, that's for sure. The question is, how do we really want to be involved in this? To be honest with you, I don't think we do want to be too involved with it. I think I might just watch how it plays out. Now, that might be a bad idea because this is a great opportunity to get involved with the war. Russia is on a, a whole new level of, like, greatness. See our resources and whatnot? We're pretty much meeting resources and everything but coal and food now. Um, you know, we've slowly been managing it, prospecting uh, and expanding output and various basic resources. I will point out that I finally figured out exactly how... Uh, you utilize these outside areas uh, say for this one for example basically to utilize it you have to build low rail density you build low rail density after you build unpaved roads from that point then you can actually have a uh, working thriving economy and whatnot so that's actually uh, what I've found out in some of these more eastern regions in Russia that don't have um, you know, the low rail density, I've had to upgrade them with it, but as they get upgraded, as you see, this, this one right here, um, what is this, East Siberia, in one more turn, it's going to be finished with its low rail density, and then we'll be able to expand that output. That is a huge deal, uh, because that is resources we can finally tap into that we have been unable to use throughout the, um, uh, you know the past 113 turns so this is this is a big deal and bam look at that expanding output and there was even another one uh, Linsk that just finished so we're gonna take that and we're gonna start expanding output there as well huge amounts of coal reserves that we're going to start utilizing for uh, our uh, uh, epicness that's right and we actually have a as you can see my army's giant like, I'm, I'm ready for these guys. I've been slowly building up. Now, they're kind of basic tier units. These aren't advanced armies by any means of the imagination. Um, but I think they'll be more than enough to bring down the might of Germany and Austro-Hungary should we get involved at any point, which we might very well soon. I don't know. My main concern is if the other guys are going to get involved. Like if France, uh, because, you know, we're not just fighting Austro-Hungary and Germany. Italy decided to join up with the um, the Central Powers 
very early on. And, um, and Italy has been kicking the tar, as far as I can tell, out of the Ottoman Empire. I don't even really know if they're still at war with the Ottoman Empire. They might be. Um, let's see. Wars. No, 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 no. They're, um, they're finally finished with their war against the Ottoman Empire, but for so long they fought, now the Ottoman Empire is being racked by instability, um, so they're just trying to survive over there. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about the Ottomans uh, going to war with us anytime soon. I'm far more uh, concerned with the might of Austro-Hungary, of uh, you know Germany, and what they're going to do, because really that's going to be the deciding the factor and like I said if France and England both get involved I'll feel far more comfortable going to fight against these three powerful countries um, so yeah that, I mean there's that I mean e even Italy is like what let's see what their military their military is seventh so you know that's their seventh and then Austro-Hungary is fourth uh, with a huge military Germany is third so as on their own, if I was just taking these guys one-on-one, -on -one, uh, we could definitely smash them. But that's the problem, is they're all teamed up in one giant evil alliance. And I'm not risking everything I've got just to bring down, you know, to try to take them down and, and not succeed and then be screwed. So, yeah, just, just saying, guys, just saying. But I am very happy with how we've developed honestly I think you know it's it's very tedious to play as the Soviets or not the Soviets excuse me as uh, the Russian Empire because of ooh, let's see wait I gotta go look at this let's let's go look at this alright we don't have diesel engines I don't think we need it but military industrialization will allow us to upgrade our stuff so we definitely need that uh, this leads to heavy siege guns fighters seaplane tender factory farms okay this is really the main one we want we want military industrialization so we can get a tank prototype we can actually get some armored cars and whatnot because that is going to make a huge difference here soon enough that's right and we're gonna expand output there all right good so now we have just untapped a new oil deposit as well yes yes we're doing great very happy with how this is turning out. This is not turning out bad at all. Not in the least. No. What else do we have, though? I guess I should start building more gun howitzers. Yeah, we're going to need those. Notice I've started building air bases closer to the front line. I'm actually going to build one right here as well uh, in Volhynia. Um, I might build one there, too, and Lebelski. Just to be able to support... You know, if I want to base an air force here and then bomb up there in Germanland and uh, down here. Oh, wait, no, that's not in Germanland. What is that, Prussia? I can't remember what that is. But anyway. Uh, who you grow. Unpaved roads, enclosed farms, lots of enclosed farms. University completed in Moscow. Sweet beans! This is grand! Yeah, we're going to go ahead and build low rail density there as well. 15 tons. Let's take a look at Moscow. How's Moscow doing? It's doing good. We actually, we can recruit uh, infantry, but I think I'll save that for now. Um, what should we build? What should we build? I guess we'll go ahead and build a steel mill. No, let's build a hospital. That gets MPU growth up, and that's really important to us, so we're going to do that. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite song is playing. Sorry. <laughs> You can tell, dude, I've been sitting here playing this for like, I think almost an hour now, just consistent playing, and it's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's, it's a really fun game. It's one of those games where it's just like, ah, uh, just one more turn, just one more turn. I don't want to stop playing because I don't, I really don't. I could clock so much time into this game, and that's what was great about the original was the fact that I could, if I wanted to, clock a ridiculous amount of time. Uh, into the game and it was just so fun and I never felt bored and that that's what's great about this I just uh, it's so much fun it's uh, a lot of people I guess would look at a game like this and just be like oh my god this looks so boring all you're doing is pressing the in turn button and clicking on a bunch of menus well yeah maybe but 
what makes it cool is just how much, you know, how much you can do, how much uh, actually managing these economies effectively, and so on. So, I mean, personally, <laughs> I could play this for days. For days. Ooh, recruitment center in Warsaw. Honestly, I think by the next episode, we're actually going to have a fight on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, we are probably going to be involved in some sort of war. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm excited. <laughs> you can tell. We're also starting to get a lot more money, too. One of the big things that uh, has been slowing us down in like money is because I've been building all these farms, upgrading all these areas that I can uh, to produce more food, and it costs, like, I think an enclosed farm is, like, 600, uh, cash over time, so, like, that's a huge investment, and you really need to kind of, I guess, watch that, like, make sure you're not spending too much money, um, uh, on nonsensical items, <laughs> just, you know, random stuff like that, but, uh, hmm, let's see, we've been playing for, this will be the 12th turn, I think we'll do about three more turns or so for this particular playthrough. Um, I'll probably bump ahead about five additional turns after that, again, to speed it up a bit. Ooh, steel mill. Iron works. All right, lots of, lots of stuff going on here. And Minsk. Yes, now give me a research center. Steel mill. Steel mill. Um, I guess build a steel plant since we're already, you know, we're going all out. We're just doing it. We are doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. And we built a motor works over there in the east so that if we need to go to war with Japan or China or somebody, we can actually build tanks and all that good nonsense. Because more than likely, we will need it for sweet mother Russia. We will need it. God, I'm just loving this. Look, every single turn, like, something's happening. Something's going on. Things are getting built. Things are being completed. I can't wait till we're actually making positive food. It'll be like the first time in forever. Oh yeah, look at military industrialization is coming along quite nicely as well. It's at 62% now. And bam, look at that. It just went 9% up this turn. So one more turn and hopefully it should be around 80%. That's huge. Yes, 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 yes. Stuff happened. Things happened. Ooh, low rail density. That's important. Uh, let's see. Where did that happen at? Saka. Ah, oh, yes. Expand output. Expand! Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful! Yes, getting all those resources. I can't wait till we're making positive coal balance. I'm so excited! Everything is coming together after so long! Like five episodes we've been building up to this and now things are finally about to happen. God, it's like, you know, it's like I've had you on a, a suspense, like just an epic five episode cliffhanger. Right? Oh, wow, nothing happened that turn. So, yeah. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro playing Making History the Great War. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope uh, it helps you in your playthroughs. Uh, I hope it's entertaining to at least a small degree. Um, and we are about to find out, you know, uh, probably by the next episode we'll be involved in some sort of fighting. As long as we can maintain our dom our military dominance, which we just lost. I hope it was just the UK who took it uh, and not somebody else. Nope. Okay, who took military dominance? Now I'm scared. Oh my god, Germany took it. Oh, fuck packets. Well, that's a hell of a way to end this episode. So I guess I will see you guys next time.